Very warm welcome to this tutorial video on emotion classification. In this video it will explain how machine are able to read human's emotion by convolution neural network. What is facial emotion recognition? Facial emotion recognition is the process of detecting human emotions from facial expressions. So here we will try to detect a facial expression. Here in these code we are going to use FER 2013 dataset from web. The data consists of 48x48 pixel grayscale images of faces having different facial expression. There are 7 universal expression that is 1, angry, 2, disgust, 3, fear, 4, happy, 5, sad, 6, surprise and 7, neutral. So we will try with 7 emotions. Before going on with the code I want to show the files. I have saved the code on desktop in a file name emotion underscore classification. Here are the files and I already saved as classification code. We also need Harcascade file for detection of face. Here I will be using Visual Studio code for executing the code since I already have code, I will be explaining the functions of codes. So let us start with this tutorial video. Underscore future underscore statements need to be near the top of the file because they change fundamental things about the language, and so the compiler needs to know about them from the beginning. We have to use print as a function now. So underscore future underscore import print underscore function will bring the print function from Python 3 into Python 2.6 plus. Now we will import Keras. Keras applications are deep learning models that are made available alongside pre-trained weights. These models can be used for prediction, feature extraction, and fine-tuning. Which is perfect for facial detection. For image processing we are importing image generator which will multiply a single image into many images by rescaling, flipping, turning, and many more for training purposes. The OS module in Python provides a way of using operating system dependent functionality. After importing module, we will define the number of class that is equals to 7 because we are trying for 7 different expression. We are using fur 2013 data set, so we are keeping its dimension as 48 by 48. Then we are setting batch size to 32 because here it will train 32 images at a time during training. For this two line it will define the location of train directory and validation directory which I have saved on desktop inside a file named emotion classification. So in this block train data generation it tries to generate many images from a single image by resizing it, rotating it, zooming it, shifting it right and left and flipping it. Fill underscore mode equals nearest will fill the next pixel which was distorted during generation of new image. So here by generating more images from single image will help in training machine and it will improve their accuracy. For validation data generation it is only going to rescale the image because for validation it is not necessary to have many images of a same image. In this block code it will refer to the root directory that was created on the desktop for the train directory. Color mode will be grayscale because it will be readable for the machine and for emotion classification. So it is not necessary to have a color image. Target size will be equal to image dimension. Batch size will be equal to 32 and class mode equals to categorical because it have 7 different classes and shuffle equals to true which means that the images will be shuffled before training those images. Now, let us move on next block of code. For validation, everything will be same but here we will refer to the validation directory on the desktop. The sequential API allows you to create models layer by layer for most problems. Since we are using convolution neural network for emotion detection we will define a convolution neural network in sequential block. Here we are using neuron as 32 have a kernel size of 3 by 3 and for its input shape we are keeping as its dimension. Setting its activation as elu in state of relu and setting dropout equals to 20%. For the next block of network we are doubling its neuron number to 64. Here we are not defining its input shape as it is already defined in first block. So for every network the neuron number will be doubled. Now moving on with the next code. For neural network it will be same but their neuron number will be double of previous block of network. So it will be like 32, 
64, 128 and 256. After defining the network at time for flatten the network where it will not have a matrix. This code will create a fully connected network having 64 neuron and having dropout of 50%. So in this code it will specify number of neuron to be used. Now is time to save and print the model. First let's check the code, since there is no problem, let's run the code. So this code will take time to run. So let's wait for some time. After ruining this code we will get its classes and number of items in those classes. And we can also see doubling of of neuron in the neural network. Here we can see the flattening of network where do not have any matrix in the flattening layer. So here can see total parameter, trainable parameter, and non-trainable. Since there is no problem. Now, let's move on with training of our model. I already have the code so I will be explaining the codes. Importing optimizer and after that using checkpoint for selecting the best model for the emotion detection. Checkpoint will save the best model with minimum validation loss having the name written on it in the current working folder. Early stop will be applied for there is no improvement in validation loss up to 3 epochs. Reduce will also monitor the validation loss. Now this is the sample inside the class to train our machine and sample for validation. Which we can get from the class during our first execution of the code. This last block of code will train our code with the given parameters. Where it will fit train generator for training. Epics will be a pal to 25 and call back will call the early stop checkpoint and reduce underscore LR. Validation data will be equal to validation generator which was created on the first execution. So let's run the code and see if there is any problem in the code. Since we are continuing the code it will execute the code from first then it will start training the model. It was taking lots of time to train the model so I have fast forwarded this clip and have already trained the model and showing you guys how to proceed with the code. The trained model will saved as data collected in a current working directory. So here I will only show you how to train and then how to test using those trained data for facial emotion detection. This will run till 9 epochs but if there is no improvement it will run till 25 epochs. Now for the last code. We have already trained the data for facial expression recognition so for this code it will open a new window for capturing the face using the camera on your computer. So here this block will import all the important packages or module for face detection. Face classifier will import a XML file of Har Cascade which is used for face detection. For face detection you can watch a previous video on face detection. For the next line, this will import the trained data file from current working directory. This block of code is for face detection and a box will be draw on your face on monitor if your face is detected. New window will be opened for face detection and emotion detection, so destroy all window this will close the window if pressed on closed button. Now let's run the code. It takes time for execution of code. So as you can see our faces be detected and it is also detection our emotion. This system do not have accuracy. So you could try to get more accurate result. So we tried our best to show many emotions.
Thank you for watching this video. For more video please subscribe to our channel.